Launched from a small satellite, a small nuclear warhead only needs to explode 300 miles above the Earth to knock out a power grid, and the U.S. is largely defenseless to such an EMP attack North Korea could potentially deliver. And if a power grid goes down completely, it'll take critical life-sustaining systems down with it. Mass infrastructure for banks, hospitals, communications, food, water, and the internet could be disrupted for a year, if not outright destroyed by such an attack. If a nuclear device designed to emit EMP were exploded 250 to 300 miles up over the middle of the United States, it would disable the electronics in the entire United States, said EMP expert Gail Nording. That would disable the entire electric grid, it would disable communications, it would disable fuel manufacturing production, it would disable hospitals and medicines, it would disable 911 call centers. Right now, a EMP attack by North Korea poses a potentially greater threat to the US than an intercontinental ballistic missile and the Hermit Kingdom already orbited its KMS-3 satellite over the US back in 2012. It's currently unknown if North Korea has a warhead small enough for a satellite. However, its space program shows more promise than its development of ICBMs. North Korea claims its space program is designed to provide agricultural images to improve its crop yields but the country is small enough that aircraft could do the same with greater flexibility. Satellites are only useful to vast nations like Russia or China. In fact, the KMS-3 made several passes above Russia and the US, but not North Korea. Jim Oberg, who is perhaps the only Western spaceflight engineer to visit North Korea, warned that North Korea's Sohei launch site is geographically suitable for launching satellites to orbit above America's east coast. On the very first pass around Earth after crossing near Antarctica, the satellite tracks northwards off the west coast of South America over the Caribbean and right up the east coast of the United States, he wrote. 65 minutes after launch, it's passing a few hundred miles west of Washington, D.C., and with a minor steering adjustment during launch, it could pass right over Washington, D.C. What might be inside the half-ton package in the satellite is literally anybody's guess. Interestingly, the federal government is currently running mass casualty drills in Manhattan as part of Operation Gotham Shield. The U.S., however, is behind Russia, China, Israel, and even Iran in EMP preparedness. But the United States does possess EMP weapons as well. Now, I want to be clear. Russia and China definitely has EMP weapons. It is unclear if North Korea possesses these weapons, but it's very possible. As I stated earlier in this video, North Korea does have the capability of launching satellites into space. They have done that successfully. It is a very real threat that they could possess an EMP weapon to knock out the grid in the United States. What do you think? Is it possible? That North Korea could attack the United States with an EMP weapon? Leave your comments below this video. Thanks for watching.